Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and this is going to be demonetized. Um, so I figured, why not? Let's just cover both in one uh, video. And I am so disinterested in both of these, but people won't shut up about me covering them. I think you already know what I think. And let's just call this the unsubscriber special, which is actually really beneficial because I don't want to get to 50k because that video I promise I make is going to be really expensive. But anyway, number one, Autumn Burchett, a man who thinks he's a woman, went to a recent tournament with incredibly offensive statements that I don't think I can even repeat on YouTube written on some lands, and at least two of them, uh, a judge came over and said, you can't have those in your deck, we cannot show this on camera. And it was basically, uh, and I'm mad at Therese Nielsen because she allegedly said something uh, against trans people at some point in the past. Like, it was that kind of protest. Uh, oh, and by the way, he took a Sharpie, Two lands that are worth like three to five hundred dollars each. Or were, were worth that much. Now they're not. So that's the level of crazy that we're dealing with. But then again, Autumn does like to be like a really arrogant showboning dick every time he wins anything. So whatever. But let's see if I can get this in order because I don't follow stupid bullshit drama like this. Because one, it pisses me off. And two, it just absolutely disgusts me to, to read that this is happening. So, Therese Nielsen has been making art for magic for a long-ass time. She is a lesbian. Uh, at some point, she, like, hit like on a tweet by Trump, like, once or something. It's so something about on par with that. I don't know the exact story, but, yeah. And then some people think that she made an anti-trans statement. I don't know what it was, but I remember at the time it was bullshit. Here, is this an anti-trans statement? Uh, according to people who thought they were trans and then got the help they needed and then gave interviews and started websites and are campaigning all over the country to get trans people to not get surgery, but to get the mental help that they need, you know, like in accordance to what decades of every health study, every CDC study, every mental health study. Oh God. The head of psychology at Johns Hopkins hospital. Everyone who works and specializes in the field, not just some blowhards on Twitter who need to shut the fuck up, all of them think that trans people just need to get help so that they don't think they're the wrong gender. And included, like I said, included in that group is people who used to be there and are now better. Like, is that an anti-trans statement or is that just reality? Or is that just the majority opinion? And true. Uh, that's not discrimination. That's just me telling the truth. And if I recall, that's exactly what Therese Nielsen a super not conservative lesbian said. So as far as the perceived Trump support, um, I voted for him because I voted against Hillary because she's a crazy bitch, but I'm not in one of those super polarized. My team is always right. And your team is always wrong. You know, idiot fights. Trump is an arrogant, clueless asshole who doesn't believe in global warming. Like what the fuck? Who's that stupid? He's a womanizing, offensive, disgusting human being and half his decisions, which actually affect the entire world, not to mention the entire country, are about his ego and his image. But guess what? There are certain things we need to do to get jobs. There are certain, you know, illegal people coming in who are dangerous and running drugs into the country and we need to do something about it. If he tweets out one thing that just so happens to be true and a really good point and I hit like on it, oh my God, I'm in Team Trump. I'm 100% Trump all day, every day. Fuck off. No, I'm not. Neither is Therese Nielsen. So between the idiotic perceived anti-trans statements and idiotic perceived support for Trump, Therese Nielsen got fired from Wizards of the Coast as an artist, pissing off everybody who leaves politics out of the game and just like her art and like her as a person. And I don't know if she's been rehired. I honestly don't remember. So Autumn is pissed that Wizards didn't get in a time machine and go back in time and unhire Therese, I guess. I, I guess that's what he wants done. That Then he'll be happy. Because I guess he scribbled out her name on the card in protest to Wizards working with her like 10 years ago when she made the art for these cards. I, I, I don't get it, okay? But you know what? Don't try to follow the logic of somebody who got up a, a couple months ago on the mic after winning a Mythic Championship and basically said, if I were to paraphrase, fuck white straight people. It's finally time for one of us to win. There's too many of you assholes in this game. And there were zero consequences or penalties for that, despite massive backlash. So you can say some discriminatory, racist, sexist, heterophobic bullshit into the mic as long as Wizards agrees with it, okay? But if I were to win a Mythic Championship and say, oh, thank God I won this instead of a black person, I feel like they might have a problem with that, even though it's literally the exact same thing with a word swapped. 
So Autumn is on the war path. Like it, it, he's one of those people who puts pushing their agenda on everybody else above everything else in his entire life. It's more important than what people think of him. It's more important than um, prize money. The most important thing in his entire life is screaming at everybody about how they're wrong and they need to accept everything and you need to go as far left as all these other nut jobs. And he's just one of those psychoactivist people who need to shut the fuck up. Just like A.E. Marlin and, you know, I could name a hundred others. Oh God, Jeff Boohoo Hoogland, who, uh, if I recall, this is, if I'm recalling this correctly, tried to break up his brother's marriage before it happened because he didn't like his fiance's political views. Or maybe it was sister and then whatever. It, it was something like that. Like that, that's the level of crazy we're dealing with, with these crazy fuckers. Okay. Autumn is like Jeff Hoogland cranked up to 11. Okay. So you got the Therese Nielsen fans who are mad at Wizards and Autumn. You've got Autumn who's mad at the entire world. You've got Wizards who's mad that this is even a thing that's happening. You got uh, uh, Wizards is allegedly mad at the judges. The judges are mad at Autumn. And one of the two revised the statement later to say, no, it's not the trans statement, the pro-trans statement, an anti-discrimination statement that they took issue with, even though it is. Uh, the, the issue they took issue with was uh, scratching out the artist's name. That That's offensive. That's dis disrespectful to the artist. You can't do that. So calling the artist a transphobe while making a political statement in a game that's supposed to have politics taken out of it, although this is Wizards we're talking about, that's fine. But crossing out their name on a card, now you've gone too far. So really, they're just trying to save face and please everyone, which is ridiculous. Um, just suspend Autumn. It's that simple. Just suspend him. He should have been suspended after that racist, sexist bullshit that he was spewing on the mic after he won the Mythic Championship a couple months ago. That was beyond unacceptable. It sounded like Nazi propaganda. So that's that whole shitstorm. So honestly, Autumn needs to be suspended for bare minimum a year for multiple accounts of, of violating every rule there could possibly be. Not to mention somebody forcing him to get the help he needs, because my god. So that's... Topic number one, topic number two in the unsubscriber special. But seriously, if you take issue with what I'm saying, get the fuck off my channel, please. I don't want to associate with you. I don't want to hear your comments. I don't want to talk to you. You're fucking crazy. You've been drinking the Kool-Aid and you must really like patting yourself on the back. Because, oh, the media told me I'm a good person because I follow their narrative. Get a fucking clue and, and get a fucking brain. Anyway, shitstorm number two is, uh, you, you might remember Greg Weisman. He wrote that god-awful War of the Spark book that everybody universally hated because it was written like a two-year-old wrote it. Everybody agrees he should stick to screenplays because books are not his thing, so naturally, they contracted him to write two books. We already knew this when the first one came out. When it was even announced, they said, no, he's going to write a sequel too. So I guess they had to stick to that because they'd be look like they're admitting that he was a, an incompetent dumbass if they canceled the second book. Or, oh boy, had anybody else write it. <laughs> that would have been funny. I used to be a writer for a company that was worth about triple what Hasbro was, and I was one of their top writers, so uh, hit me up, wizards. So anyway, he wrote a second book. It came out recently, and I obviously didn't read it because I'd rather eat a pine cone. But apparently, everybody's pissed off now, but for varying reasons. And this is where it gets hilarious, because all these LGBT activist assholes need to get their story straight. Like before they all go attack people on Twitter nonstop all day because they don't have a job because they got a useless, you know, arts degree at some bullshit liberal college. Maybe they need to get together and decide what to be outraged about because, um, boy, where do I even start with this one? Allegedly in the storyline before I started playing, there were hints that maybe Chandra and Nyssa had some kind of relationship and they're both female. Or I guess not even relationship, but like feelings for each other. So that was put in, I believe, one of the later Hour of Devastation storylines. And then like a day or two later, it was just ghosted. It wasn't like they put this section has been edited out. Somebody told them to change it and they did. I'd like to think that somebody from Hasbro or somebody who works in PR from Wizards who has their head actually screwed on straight says, um, kids read this and we didn't put like a pervy mature bullshit rating or warning in this. So in all you SJW activist assholes like to like go to kindergarten and, and spot off a bunch of pervy and appropriate shit to children, but we can't do it in this story because, you know, kids read this, conservatives read that you're literally pissing off more than half of our customer base. So go push your agenda somewhere else. This is for the magic story. Okay. And yet they let Greg Weissman go crazy with like a, a gay paintball gun and boom, 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 you're gay, you're gay, you're gay, you're gay, Ral Zarek, he's gay now, everybody's gay. It was almost as big of a deal as when J.K. Rowling revealed that you, as the reader, are actually gay the whole time. I mean, everybody loves a good 2019 gay retcon, but, um, 
Oh, I say that because in the book, apparently despite that bullshit being edited out of the chapter and thus not being canon, they basically mentioned that uh, Chandra had had uh, relationships with nothing but male and extremely brawny, like manly males, I believe was the something like the term that he used in the past. And that she like pulls a 180 and says that her feelings for Nyssa that she was kind of exploring were like a mistake. They weren't really real. And now she wants to date men again. And oh, did the liberals lose their minds. Holy shit. Okay, so the official narrative as far as everybody agreed was that Chandra was actually bi, for the record. But nope, now now it's all dudes. She's 100% hetero. Well, you can't do that. You can't retcon her, her bi-ness or gayness or whatever the hell. The people are honestly getting their complaints wrong. They're, they're thinking she was gay. She wasn't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pump the brakes there, LGBT activist dumb fucks. I could have sworn that part of your narrative that you're spewing all the time are that your gender identity and orientation are malleable and can change over time. So you're mad that Nissa thought maybe she'd be into chicks as well, then had feelings for Nissa, then kind of explored them and decided, no, actually, I don't think this is real. But, you know, good on her for not denying it and, you know, looking into it and just seeing if, you know, maybe she was bi, but then she was like, no, I'm not. Okay, cool. That's literally what you're saying people are capable of. <laughs> like, that's part of your agenda that you're constantly pushing on everyone. So how is she not the poster girl for your bullshit? So some people are mad that, oh, no, you can't take one of our diverse characters, which I think she's still a ginger. I mean, come on, that's, come on. I mean, that's practically a race, a minority, and a discriminated against group all in one. Anyway, no, 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 you can't have her think that she's one way and then change her mind. That never happens to people in real life. No. So to everybody who's got their undies in a bundle over this, um, shut the fuck up. You aren't even in line with your own narrative. Remember, this is SJW attack mob, I'm right, all of society is wrong, paranoid bullshit 101, okay? Latch on to anything. It doesn't have to be logical. It doesn't have to be consistent. It doesn't have to be correct. It doesn't have to match, you know, facts, science, reality, logic. No, all that goes out the window. The only thing that's important to your argument is yelling at other people about how they're wrong and you're right. Because that gives these SJW attack mob assholes warm, fuzzy feelings about what a great person they are which is very needed to them because they're terrible people and they know it. They're offensive, cheating, horrible, lying, awful, crime committing, just miserable, hateful pieces of human garbage. But if they can tell anybody, I'm more woke than you, I'm more accepting than you, you're a bigot, fuck you, I'm better than you, then they feel better about themselves. That's what this whole movement's about. Okay. It's not about rights for people. It's not about treating people with equality. It's, it's bullshit. That's all smokescreen. That's why they're like, eh, re, re, eh, you can't make her straight. So yeah, that's the two SJW collapsing into a black hole of stupidity bullshit that's going on in the community right now. There, I covered it. Can I get back to shit I actually care about now? If I don't lose at least 200 subscribers over this video, I'm going to be mad, okay? Because at least that percentage of you need to get the fuck off my channel. I know you're out there. I see the thumbs down. In fact, I'm probably going to piss you off by turning off ratings for this. But I'm going to leave comments on because I have to ban you. I know you, you're, you're an SGW, like, shout at everybody nutcase. You can't leave without leaving a comment, and you and I both know it. Even though comments aren't public until I manually approve each of them individually. So nobody's going to see it. But you're still going to go on a fucking 10-paragraph tirade about how I'm wrong and I'm a bigot and blah, 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 discrimination, blah, 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 blah. Because that's what you do. That's what your whole life has devolved to. That is your meaning of your entire life is to scream at people on the internet. So feel free. So that said, uh, two days away from uh, Ban Monday. Very excited about that. Maybe they'll uh, leave an article on The Gatherer about the ban announcement that actually resolves to a page without getting a 404 error. Like, for once. Hopefully they ban um, Oko, about 50 other cards, and Autumn Burchett. That that's my ban list that I want. So um, everybody who's mad about both these situations, uh, shut the fuck up and calm the fuck down, and hopefully I won't see you next video.